Now here's a quick fix for Mac users who, for whatever reason, do not see Adobe Premiere Pro inside their automation panel in the security settings. So in this case, I am going to use the beta 2023 of Adobe Premiere as an example. As you can see, I was successful in 2021 and 22. And I have the Premiere Pro Effects extension installed, yet I don't see Premiere Pro 2023 in my automation panel. So I'm gonna open a new project. So here we have a new project and I'm just gonna go up top to my Windows extension and gonna get the Premiere Pro FX extension. So this is the first time loading it. I'm gonna enter my serial number, hit register. And again, this may take a couple minutes the first time that Premiere Pro FX loads. While it's doing that, I'm gonna set up a sequence for the first time. So I'm gonna to go to File, New, Sequence. And I'm just gonna throw a sequence out there because I just wanna create a systems trigger event. So we have our timeline ready to go. And the idea is that we want to create a systems event for Adobe Premiere Pro to be inserted into our automations panel. So we need an effect from Premiere Pro FX to trigger that. So now it's done registering, I'm gonna hit okay. Now it's gonna walk you through the steps for your first install. So we go to accessibility, we want Premiere Pro checked on, whether it's 2021, 22, in our case, 23. However, if I go into the automations, I still do not see Premiere Pro 23 in my automation panels. So I'm just gonna bypass this step that Premiere Pro takes you through. So we're gonna forget the automations right now, bypass it and hit finish. That's gonna close the extension to reset it and we just wanna reopen it one more time. I'm just gonna size this down. And now we're just gonna hit the launch app. And all we wanna do at this point is create a systems event. And we just need to double click onto any effect. And now this is gonna come up. Adobe Premiere Pro Beta wants to access control system events. You have to hit okay. So now once you hit okay, we can go back into our automation. We can see now that Premiere Pro 23 is in our automation and you'll be good to go. So now you can double click on effect and now everything in Premiere Pro Effects is gonna work as it should. And that's it, enjoy.